There's a, uh, a bill out there, H.R. 5667. This is the Firearms Micro Stamping Evaluation and Study Act. And, I, and, and is, it, uh, is it accurate, John, the NRA actually supports this legislation? Yes, that's correct, Cam. Uh, and the reason for that is just that, that the, uh, the anti-gun groups ha- and legislators have, have tried to sell micro-stamping as the uh, silver bullet, so to speak, uh, of, uh, of crime prevention uh, or, or crime solving, really, because you can't possibly prevent a crime. Mm-hmm. And the uh, and so they've they've wanted to rush it uh, to to you know to force the industry to rush it into production, even though it's a sole source patented technology that um, kind of adds the cost of guns. Uh, and and we just we don't think that uh, that the evidence is there, but uh, the um, and so the argument is do a study, and uh, and we'll see. Uh, you know, and and we are willing to bet that the study will come out right. Well, yeah, because what what's happening right now is that there have been some other studies that have been done, but the supporters of micro stamping kind of poo poo these studies, right? That's right. So let's do a, let's do a definitive study. Let's have the National Academy of Sciences, very well respected, uh, federally uh, chartered entity, uh, you know, through its National Research Council, uh, conduct a study. They've studied uh, gun-related issues before. They've always had very uh, neutral, fair-minded panels, and on uh, numerous occasions, they found that anti-gun schemes either just won't plain won't work, or just or, or that the uh, costs aren't worth the benefit. Yeah, and these private studies that have been done, uh, I, I won't say private, but the, for instance, one was done, I think, uh, University of California, Davis, showing that, uh, you know, the micro technology was very easily defeated in a matter of seconds using common household tools. This wasn't something that uh, the UC Davis researchers uh, decided to throw in there uh, just because they didn't like micro stamping. This is, this is, you know, really uh, uh, what is the case with these uh, micro stamped firearms, but again, the the nonpartisan nature of the National Academy of Sciences looking at this and saying, uh, "All right, you know, here's how easily defeated micro stamping is." Uh, that that carries more weight. Exactly. I mean, uh, exactly. Uh, and and we see, we saw we saw how they did it uh, in the study, for example, of Tagenson gunpowder. If anyone uh, listening remembers that issue uh, uh, about 15 years ago. Uh, the uh, the argument was well we'll put these uh, these uh, microscopic plastic chips in uh, in in gunpowder and that way if someone uses gunpowder to make a bomb uh, we'll be able to identify the source of the powder so this would basically the, the problem of course is that uh, uh, most gunpowder for reloading is sold in one to eight pound cans mm-hmm. and to know who bought a particular can you'd have to have an extensive registration scheme going all the way down from from top to bottom much like micro stamping uh, the uh, the difference is that if anything micro stamping is even more vulnerable because because uh, of the ease of defeating it you wouldn't be able to necessarily sift out all of the tagins from a from a package of gunpowder but uh, Yank the firing pin out of a gun, a couple minutes of the file, and uh, and the, um, the marking is gone. Wow, uh, you know. Uh, so, do we know uh, uh, what 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 this bill's status is right now? Has it had a committee hearing? No, it has not. The bill's just uh, been introduced, but uh, hasn't uh, hasn't had a hearing. And at the rate things are proceeding in the current Congress, it's probably pretty unlikely that they'll get there. But but it's. Uh, something out there for discussion on the table. All right. Uh, well, John, I, again, I hope that this uh, lets folks know what this is all about. They can also go to NRAILA.org, and they can find out more information about uh, this legislation, what the National Academy of Science has done in the past in terms of researching gun control. Because what I, yeah, I'm really afraid that somebody's going to see the uh, this bill and say, oh, no, it's another gun control bill. Absolutely. So let's head off that misinformation Absolutely. at the pass and get the truth out there. Absolutely. And I should mention, it's not just NAS. And even, uh, even under the Clinton administration, when, uh, when BATF did a study of, um, of armor-piercing ammunition, they concluded that no new laws were necessary. So um, studied fairly, and it usually uh, comes out our way. That's what happens when the facts are on your side. Uh, hey, John, thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program tonight. You're very welcome, Cam. John Frazier, NRA ILA's Director of Research and Information, joining us here on Cam & Company.